What is up everybody, Video Addict here, and I've got a gigantic box from Crate Club. And don't be freaked out, Babs is looking at y'all today. I, I don't know why she's looking at y'all, but she never looks at you. I don't know what the deal is. Stop it. I think it's weird. big box in I want to open it mainly because I want to get it out of my house <laughs> like uh, I was like I gotta leave it in here until I get time to do the video but it's only been here for a few days so it's whatever today we are opening up this box with my Kershaw knockout it's the Kershaw vortex knockout I've had this knife for a long time I love it if you can see I've used the crap out of the blade it's all scratched up but this is amazing and I don't think you can get it many places anymore. <clears throat> I know there's like one website like it's Vortex Canada and they're like $119. But man, this thing's built like a tank. It's been perfect. I've, I mean, I've had it for years. I mean, it's, it's a great knife. I love it. I mean, for a Kershaw, it's whatever, but. All right, let's open this box up and see what we got. Oh my God, they've been sending out a lot of home goods stuff. <laughs> like last time, I think we got some uh, luggage covers to go, like if you put something in your rack on your tail, on your trailer hitch, and they give you they gave you covers to cover. I loved it, that was awesome. This is the Crate Club, the General's Box. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Oh, there's a toadfish in here. I love toadfish. All right, not too many items, so let's hope that we got some super good stuff. Oh, man, that's awesome. All right, it looks like a great box, though, right now. I'm really loving it right now. All right, first things first, let's get the the toadfish out of the way because I'm super excited about it. The toadfish. Non. It's the toadfish non-tipping can cooler. And if you've seen the other stuff that we've received from toadfish, then you'd under, you'll understand. It's like there. So, so amazing. And then this is like a little topper here. I guess this, does it change out with this one? Oh yeah. So in case you want to go to a, like a thin beverage, one of them thin cans, you just slide this buddy over here and it's boom. Let's, let's, let's test the steering. Luna, what are you, you're right underneath. And I'm back. Get your toy. Why do you gotta be right underneath me? Like right underneath my feet. Okay, just lay down right there then. All right. Thin beverage. That's what this is. And you just, oh, well. <laughs> I guess you kinda gotta hold it down while you do it. And then your beverage is in there. So maybe you put this on after. So you put this in there and you just go down over it. And there you go. Beverage in there. It's a little lopsided, but I mean, that's what it's for. I mean, it's the only thing it can be for, really. Awesome. Makes a funny noise. Then, you get your can. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha, not dipping. Oh, I'm dripping. 
It's Thursday or I'll drink that. Very cool, man. I like that. I like it a lot. I love toadfish stuff. I love the non-tipping uh, stuff that they have. It's amazing. Um, let's see. Next up, this is going to go over here. This will be here in a minute. I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, that's something different. Okay, next up is Gear Aid Camo Foam Reusable Fabric Wrap. All right, this is a way that you can like put on your pew pews, uh, long pew pews, and take the glare off of a shiny barrel or, you know, a scope or anything like that. You wrap this around it and it camouflages it, makes it a little bit duller. And I guess if it's reusable, you can just take it off. I, I would never reuse it because it's a pain in the butt to roll back up and keep it all. But I would, if I was gonna put it on something, I'd just put it on it and be done with it. <laughs> so there you go, reusable, self-clinging wrap camo foam. Camo form from Gear Aid. I like it. This is Waterport Go Spout. Everything included. A two gallon tank, multi-pattern, high pressure nozzle, quick connect hose, and a pump cap. So yeah, you take this, you fill it up with water, you attach your hose, you can close the valve, whatever, and you pump it. Pump it, pump it, pump it. And it creates pressure in the tank, obviously. Just kind of like your little bug sprayers that you might have around your house, where you crank it and then you walk around with a little wand. I don't see you're gonna be getting a whole lot of pressure, but to be able to take this, my wife might like it to go water the plants, but I don't see her hauling around two gallons of water. She has no upper body strength. I mean, it's, it's awful. It's been talked about multiple times. So this ain't like, this ain't a secret. Two gallons of water that you can pressurize in just a few pumps with the built-in pump cap. Throw this handy container in your trunk and carry it down to the beach or any outdoor activity. It's perfect for washing hands with the built-in nozzle uh, holder and five pattern high pressure nozzle. Imagine spraying down dirty feet or equipment anywhere at any time. Now it's possible with Ghost Pack. Very cool. I like it because we have two little girls. So when we do start going on trips to the beach or something like that, or we go out here, you know, uh, take them out to the lease, get them a little bit muddy, go mud riding in the four wheelers or whatever, then we can just. Spray them down. So, I like this. I like this a lot, actually. This is actually gonna be really handy. Now, when I wasn't a parent, you know, I probably would have been like, what the hell am I gonna with that? I mean, even still, I still go out and I mud ride, I, you know, I, I do a little bit of dirty stuff, so it would be nice to have. But, I'd probably be like, what the heck in the, the Crate Club General Box? Anyway, all right. Next up is gonna be from Silent, or SLNT. This is the SLNT Faraday Dry Bag. All right. We've gotten some stuff from Silent before in the way of like the little pouches, like a cell phone pouch uh, that Krista didn't like because she couldn't track me or whatever, but it's whatever. So this is a very small dry bag, you know, but in case you're new here and you don't know how a dry bag works, you just fold down the top, fold down the next one, and fold it again, and then, whoa! Hey, that is not cool. You just bend it over, snap it in, and then air's getting out so it ain't very well sealed 
Luna, I will beat you. <laughs> Luna, stop it. Stupid dog. Well, you're definitely not going to use it as a flotation device because it didn't oh. seal for shoes. Luna, stop it. I bother barking. Do I not? Maybe I don't roll down that first one. Because there's like a rubber, a rubberized little area there. And it's on both sides. So if I roll this down, this fabric part down first, that next rubber can't make contact with the next rubber. So maybe if I do it like this, it'll work. Nope. So it's not going to be waterproof. Then why are you going to call it a dry bag? I don't know. This is very weird to me. Nope. All right. So not waterproof. It is water resistant. You cannot use this dry bag as a flotation device, like other dry bags that you can. Um, that's weird to me, but it's whatever. It's a Faraday bag, so once you put it in here, uh, in case of nuclear or something, it won't ruin your electronics. Uh, people can't steal your information off of it just by being close to you. Um, it kills cellular signal. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, signal, uh, satellite nav, nav uh, key fob, EMF, EMP, RFID readers, uh, water. It says it stops water. It probably wouldn't stop water because if air can get out, then stuff can get in. Just saying. And so Drop your mobile devices inside. Push all the air out. Make sure that the material has a complete seal along the top. Roll down the seal at least four times and tightly buckle close. Okay. Four times. Hey, don't eat that. You either, Luna. One, two, three. Four times? And air is still going out of it. Jack leg. I don't know. I'm done talking about it though. <laughs> it does have a shoulder strap, which is kind of cool. Uh, you know, it is what it is. All right. Next up, we have an item that I think I'm gonna like. This is from Subtle Patriot, the Covert Hybrid Backpack. All right, Subtle Patriot, very good padded shoulder straps. And they do got a little stars and stripes in like a dark kind of shadowy thing on the back and on the front here. We believe the hybrid backpack is the most versatile backpack ever created, built to transform with your multiple interests. The backpack features separate compartments for your laptop, tablet, file folders, chargers, pens, coffee, business cards, passport, etc. When it's time to hit the road, the center storage area expands to a three-day overnight luggage compartment comparable in storage space to a full cabin size piece of luggage. What the hell? So, the center compartment. Here, let me get this damn thing off. Okay. Ooh. 
little expansion, expansion. Well, isn't that something? I mean, it ain't too massive, but I mean, it's like the size of a carry-on. All right, up here, you have a very, very plush, fuzzy, like that's very, very plush, sunglass holder. Keep you from scratching up sunglasses and stuff. Then here, oh, nice. You have a little compartment there with a little mesh bag. And then you have some molly webbing here on the outside of this big pocket. Inside of the big pocket, you have more of the decorative coloring. That's very nice. You got some little pockets here. They're Velcro pockets. Nice. You have some different like pen slots here. Probably something, you know, something minor there. A little cell phone holder or something there. I don't know. You just outfit it the way that you feel like you need to. You can get all kinds of stuff in there. Uh, here, oh, I love the I love the inside design stuff. I mean, it's really really cool. I mean, you can see all that. I like that a lot. This is just one gigantic storage spot space here. That's gonna be for like your packing and whatnot. So very cool. And then in the back, you're gonna have a little place here for like file folders, different, like three different pockets there. And then you got two sleeves here. That, that would be for your laptop and your tablet here in front. You can see all that. I love it. I think it's a great bag, man. I'm definitely putting this as my new like travel bag because I mean you can get anything you need in here. And then whenever you don't want it to be so ginormous, even though it's really not that big, I mean, it's big. I mean, it makes it where you can store a lot of stuff. That's cool. You just zip it up and then you're just in the normal backpack size. You know? There you go. You got these little side pocket side spot here with a little elastic band to kind of give you some extra stretch there. Over here you got a little zip pocket for something. For oh that's probably for your water bottle or coffee or whatever. Heavily padded on the back. You actually have a little pass through here on the bottom of that. I don't know what that's really for. Oh, ha <laughs> ha, look at that. This chest strap right here, this is a padded, I would only assume a pew pew pocket. <laughs> like inside of this pad. But you got a complete pass through but then inside, right inside of that little pad right here, I think that's a concealed carry pew pew holder. The Subtle Patriot. I love it. I like it a lot. I like it a whole lot. That is amazing. Again, I love the little shadow American flag and stars there. And then on the inside, the design stuff. It's really, really cool to me. I really, really like those. Very well done. I'll take it. All right. Last but not least, we have an item from Holtzman's. All right. This is the Holtzman's Silverback Combo Kit. All right. Let's get the old knockout back out. Luna, calm the hell down. Nice little box. Warning, if not properly maintained, your knife will rust. How to properly care for your D D2 steel knife. Care instructions. All right, so 
take this, take this first little piece of foam off. We got some cards here, scan this from Holtzman's, and then we have our knife. Hey, don't eat that. Don't eat that one either. All right, you got a pretty heavy duty Kydex sheath with clip there, a uh, little leather button strap here, and there's some other stuff that fits inside of this. So we're gonna get to that. But let's get to this first, because this is what we all want to see. Is it not? Ooh, it's very oily. I need something to wipe it with. Man, that is awesome! I love it. First things first, let's get this handle nice and dried off. All the little oily stuff to keep it from rusting while it sits on the shelf or whatever. Ooh, that is a beautiful blade. I love this. This is one of my, I think this is gonna be like, next to the Bob, this is probably gonna be my favorite new fixed blade. Like normally whenever I go do anything, I don't do a lot of bush crafting, but my Bob is my go-to fixed blade. But man, oh man, this thing is beautiful. Look at that thing, look at that. I love those G10, I love those. Look at that blade, what? That is a beefy knife too. There's no jimping, but you know, I don't think you really need it. Um, like a, you know, if you're talking about a, a work knife, yeah, this is gonna be for your bushcrafting. Uh, so this is made for batoning and whatever. I mean, that is a thick, thick blade there. I mean, it is beefy. I, I feel the weight of it. D2 Steel Holtzman uh, here. Nice snap in. Good retention there. This right here is going to keep even more retention. Inside of the box also you do have a lang or some 550 cord I, I would assume. Uh, I, don't, I mean you're not going to you're not gonna neck knife carry this thing. So, um, there is an Allen wrench with a star or fit with a Phillips head on that for adjusting your clip in whichever way you deem best for you to carry. Then you're gonna have a little bit of a fire fire kit. You have a ferrocium rod with matching little handle there to match your thing there. And same thing here, you're gonna have your striker with a little matching, I guess they made it out of the same material. I would assume G10. That is G10, right? So I ain't just being complete stupid. It does not say. 8.6 inches overall length, easy grip, anti-slip, G10. Yeah, that's what I said, G10. G10 handles. And 4.0 D2 steel blade and 5860 HRC hardness. So this, you have to get the, the stuff off of it first or not. I'm gonna melt all of these little things up here. It works good. <laughs> it's a great striker, man. And then on the sheath here, you have your spots for it. Right here in the front is your striker. Snaps in there great. And your little first sim rod just slides in here. It's gonna be a little tight. I like it. So it won't fall out easily. So bam. There it is. I freaking love it. 
I this is this this is my new go-to for outdoors working. Whenever I'm in need of a fixed blade, this is the one. That is awesome. I, I mean, without a doubt. God, I love that. It fits in my hand like almost perfect. But I do have extra large hands, so I love it. Car stock. Holy Moses, I love it. This is my thing. This is my new one. I I I I found it. That is an amazing knife. That is an amazing blade, and I am super excited to have that. Man, get twenty percent off their twenty dollars off their stuff there. I might need to go check into that because I might need to get some more stuff from them. If this is a sign of what they what they're doing, I definitely like it. Man, that is amazing. That's that's worth everything to me right there. That was a that's a hell of a knife. I'm not even putting that in. That's that's not going. That's, that's staying close to me. So yeah, uh, hopefully I was able to find pricing on it, and I'll just cut it into the video. Uh, on all the different things, but I'm telling you right now, I I couldn't be happier. The the knife is oh my god. The knife is oh my god. The backpack is oh my gosh. Okay. The Faraday bag is eh, whatever. I mean it to me it's not holding it, it's not sealing right. And I don't know if it's not just not supposed to or whatever, but I've got other dry bags that when I roll them down, you can literally use them as a flotation device. That thing, I don't think you can do that. So uh, this is whatever. I mean, good to have. Just it's just this is a throw in, give me thing. And that thing, I'm actually really really excited about that too. Just for the simple fact of we got kids, and when we go do something that's messy. I can just throw that in the back of Krista's car in the, or in the back of my truck and we can just go and if they get dirty, they ain't got to get their dirty little butts back in my truck. I can clean them first. When? Can you keep it down? She has no respect for my process. Anyway. Amazing. Oh, and the toadfish. The toadfish. How... How amazing was this box? I, I, I am so freaking excited and so happy right now. I can't even tell you. Krista just walked in the door, so we're gonna eat and then do dirty things. Y'all don't even know about. It. Cheers. But that's it. That's all I got for you. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't. In the comments below. Like, share, comment, all that fun stuff. And subscribe. I'm out. You ready for your chicken, baby? Yes, baby. Um.